Hello, I am uh, Paul Grandjean and I've been working on the Garden Lab project for a few months now. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is uh, one of the experiments we've run in the Garden Lab, which is uh, how to make a mud battery. So the mud battery, the scientific name of is a microbial fuel cell. It's a type of battery that uses uh, the microbes, the bacteria present in the soil to generate a small amount of electricity. So how to make one? You simply need to get some soil, some metal uh, electrodes, we call them, which are going to be used to capture the energy from the microbes and transmit that to a circuit. So I'm going to show you today how to simply make your own microbial fuel cell at home. So the first thing to do, you need to have a, a pot or a container of some kind. Put some soil in it. And then what we're going to do now to make sure that the microbes in the soil have a happy life in the spot, we need to uh, give them a little plant. So this I just collected this weed from the nearby garden. And this little plant through its root system will keep providing nutrients to the bacteria for uh, as long as it's alive and thus uh, keeping the bacteria alive longer and happier and make it bark with too stiff for us. Then I got my two electrodes. So lots of different metals will work, but this is a good combo I will explain to you in a second. This is a copper, which is a plumbing, standard plumbing pipe, 15 mil or 12 mil, I can't remember, and um, a zinc plated uh, bit of metal, which is actually a 10 peg cut in half. So two very basic materials that you can get from the DIY store or from the camping store. Then you push the electrodes down the battery and the zinc, just a few centimeters apart. Make sure you don't touch the plastic side so that the whole surface of the electrode is surrounded by soil and bacteria. And this is pretty much it. Your uh, microbial fuel cell or mud battery is ready to go. We are going to measure the output of this battery. So here you can see the voltmeter here, so this little uh, device here measures the voltage which is one of the characteristics of the electricity for this battery and you can see here 0.84 volts straight output from the battery. What I must say at this stage is that this voltage we are reading now, this value we get on the, on the little device here, is not made by the, not generated by the microbes it's generated by the chemical interaction between the copper and the zinc, between the two piece, pieces of metal in the battery. And then over a period of days, the microbes in the soil are going to start uh, gathering around the electrodes. And then the electrodes will start collecting the electricity from the microbe as well as the ones that generated by the chemical interaction between the two uh, pieces of metal in here. Okay, so what can we do with this electricity? As I mentioned before, it is very small. There's not much going on in there. But it's enough for, uh, for example, this object here is in the shape of one of the microbes that are in the soil generating electricity for us. It's something I haven't spoken about. So in any sample of soil, say something like that, there's going to be several millions bacteria, which are like in the scale of a four millionth of a millimeter, so extremely, extremely small. And some of these bacteria can generate an electron as part of uh, when they eat the organic matter in the soil, they will generate a small amount of electricity as a byproduct of their digest digestion. And we can harvest this with the electrodes. So this is the one type of bacteria in this shape, it's a Shewanella, it's called. And this is one of the bacteria that has this uh, capability of producing electricity when it digests the, the soil. Now if I connect it, if I'm lucky, we should have a, a very slow flashing light. So I'm it, it, uh, here we go, it starts flashing, you know, if you can see that with the camera. The LED is flashing. 
and it will keep flushing for several months, provided you keep watering your plant and make sure that the bacteria are happy and alive in the mix. And that's that.